I am on it. I'm just right here at the, um, I'm getting to my window with the PowerPoint. Um, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit about how we um, work with our high school leaders to lead content. So I can see that you guys can see the link. Let me see if I can, if I switch it to PowerPoint show, will it, I, I'm going to leave it, you know, as a non-show. So I'm sorry if you guys are going to have to look at this and think, what is she doing? But it might be easier just to tell you a little bit about our group. So first of all, it's a group of high school leaders who are working out in the community and they have created a kit. And we're just going to talk about how we improved the kit this year. And what we do with the kit is we deliver content to fifth graders in a remote setting. So these are my students here that are um, that designed the kit. And a little bit about their work is they um, create the content that actually is going to be delivered. And then they also decide what are we going to talk about when we're presenting this. So they even come up with how they're going to describe loops and variables. They design their own um, curriculum. So I'm really proud of the work that they do. And I wanted to just share how we changed our kit in the next year. So we went back to our kits after we delivered this content, um, we decided what did we need to change? And so some of the things we changed is we started with using the nails and the alligator clip and we wanted to do that soil moisture sensor lab and we liked it, but we found that that wasn't enough for the students to get engaged. And it was particularly difficult because we're del delivering it through a remote setting. So this year we changed it up to say we're going to use duct tape, we're going to use headphones and the alligator clips so that students can make more wearables. So they can kind of take it home with them so they can do some more remote learning that was more engaging for them. And so that's the change that we made in this. So if you're somebody who's thinking like, I don't know if we are going to have to deal with the lockdown, we don't know what's next. If I could recommend things like duct tape, auxiliary headphones, you know, with the jack that you can use, or even a piezo buzzer would be something pretty awesome for kids to be able to connect the alligator clip but, you know, if they have a version one um, micro bit, that's a way to solve that problem and they could make a cool wearable. So I wanted to just share out what we did to make those changes as people think about what is the future? What are we going to do with the remote learning? So we liked the sound labs, servo motors. I still have problems with the servo motors. So I know that Pauline Mass did a session earlier today where she talked about using that, um, not using copper tape, but using that. Um, fabric tape that's conductive that might be easier because servo motors to me would be a great or an issue but I liked what you just said we about using the um, the gator that you might get so that might be something as a solution but for us we were at cost prohibitive issues so we kind of thought what things work what things don't and then finally I'll just say the why it comes down to the why we want to get kids engaged in learning and we especially want our high school students to kind of take on that piece and so we wanted tools that made them more productive and tools that would make them more successful when they're delivering a training so these are what we kind of our lessons learned and also just a way to kind of um, kind of share in the community what's been working for us as we're delivering this online training. Yeah, thanks, Dave. That's the way I feel about it, too. Hi, Jacqueline. Good morning. So that's it for my presentation. I hope it gave us more time if there's more questions for everyone.